说的真实，是有政策的，它是也是有阶段性的。那现在我们的孩子去了美国，光是我们上What makes you fascinated by the Jewish migration to Harbin? Many, many years ago, when I was in New York, I was working with the Israeli ambassador to the United Nations. His name was Joseph Tekoa. He came from Harbin. And he told me about Harbin. At that time, I never heard of Harbin, and I didn't exactly know where it was. But then when I came here, when I came to Harbin, I fell in love immediately, instantly with the history of the place. It is not only Harbin, it is the whole Dong Bay, a very special region that every country in the world, every power in the world wanted to put their hands on. The Russians, the Japanese, the British, the Americans, everybody. And I was fascinated by the drive and more fascinating was the story of Harbin itself. Out of nowhere, but in part of China, here is a foreign city, a city that was established by foreign people. At the beginning, there were very few Chinese here. I've started asking questions. And in order to get answers, you have to do research. So immediately after I uh, came here, I started doing research. One other thing was that the Jewish archives of Harbin were closed and there is no way to get information from there. And then I decided in 2002 to uh, establish a research center. This research center called the Sino-Israel Research and Study Center is now very famous not only in China but in around the world. And as I've said, many scholars come to conduct research here. And what I've done was I was able and very fortunate to be in touch with hundreds of families, Jewish families that had roots in Harbin. And they contributed to our research center, not only photographs, but also documents and memoirs and anything that you can think of. And today we have hundreds of thousands of historical photographs of the city of Harbin and of the families that lived here. And you can look at the, at the photographs and you can construct the whole story. We have documents and evidences of life of people here. All this makes a scholar who is very curious person like me quite interested in this. And I can say that when I look back at my life and I'm Although I'm only 18 years old, you know, but I look back at my life and I say the most productive life I've had so far were these 14 years in Harbin. I've published books here. I've taught thousands of students who are all my children. I'm a big father, you know. Are there any final words you want to say to the Chinese people? that there is a bond between the Chinese people and the Jewish people. From the first moment I arrived in China and through the years of living here and making this place my home, Chinese people made me feel that this is my home. In other words, no one say to me, oh, you are a guest, this is my home. And the Chinese people I'm, are my family. My immediate family is Chinese. So I have special regards for this, the Chinese culture, the tra Chinese tradition, and the love 
of the Chinese people. Many people around the world do not understand China. Many people around the world do not understand Chinese people. I try to understand and I love everyone along the way.